guy. Look at this guy. Welcome back, everybody. It's Lance from Honeycutt's Brush. Appreciate your time. I'm Lance Winnie Coast Brush. See you in the next one. What we're doing is we're clearing from basically you can see that the line down here I cut on the other side of the skits here. We're gonna go all the way down this and into the woods. So we're gonna get get this going, try to get this knocked out today. Roll through it. What I'm gonna do is film this regular speed and throw the time lapse up in the cab. So you guys can see what's going on. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in a minute.
there's your property line. You can see the pink right over here. And it goes in. But this privet, some of this stuff is, let's just say it's mature. So what I've told the landowner is I'm gonna come through here with a grapple bucket. I'm gonna push all this stuff down and pile it in a pile. And we're gonna burn it at some point. It's gonna save him some time, save me some time. But I am still gonna walk it down. I'm gonna walk it down this way all the way we're gonna throw this up on a time lapse i've actually got it on my camera inside right now but we're gonna throw this part up on a time lapse and get this part done it's just us starting uh the second video of the same day it's a lot going on over there with that other side that we just did but i'm just i'm showing you what i'm doing i'm just cutting down this line this may be on the first video may not but just for time's sake i want to make them to where you can at least see what i'm doing so we're gonna walk down this side all the way down there to the corner and you see the corner tree there's there's three tiles that's the corner that's where we're gonna go anyways let's just get right into it Keep 
keep cutting away. I'm gonna throw it up on a time lapse now. If we see another, uh, if we see another trespasser, I'll be sure to put it on. I don't even know how he got in here. Number one. Some of this stuff I'm taking my time cutting. The reason being is we're sitting on a trash pile. This is what I was talking about. All these farmers, they just push stuff into the woods, metal, and it was gonna rust away. But some of that stuff just don't go nowhere. So what I'm doing is just cutting over the top. I'm supposed to be coming back later on down the road. Get my, I'm, I'm gonna get an excavator and sort of come through here and clean some of this stuff up but all i'm doing right now is just cleaning the woods out you can see behind me i mean I, we're not trying to get it perfect by no means but we're trying to get as much done today as we possibly can sort of push some stuff over later on just letting the machine work taking our time being as careful as possible but you can see the progress we've made from the last video there, there's we're going to stop right back there at the paint lines there's some we got another 20 or 30 feet back there. So we're just gonna follow this up and it ends up over there. Down, down, the, rest of it. Get caught. down the way, I got this thing on a tripod. But anyways, I'm gonna throw this up on a time lapse right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And uh, we're gonna get it to where we're gonna work this way. And then I'm gonna have some going this way. But anyways, that's what we're gonna do. To get it set up where we can cut this out on a time lapse and get it rolling.
to see what we got done today. We trimmed up this whole edge line. Down in there in the woods, we cut it all out. I'll show that in just a second. But we went that whole edge. Now you can see in the woods. I'm gonna load this machine up. Got my other camera in the woods down there. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna finish off the video. The second video, I think this is gonna be the second. All right, guys. So here's what we've gotten done so far. I'm gonna show you in just a second. You can sort of see it over my back shoulder. But we've cleared all of this in here. Now there's gonna be some bit larger sticks in here. They want me to clear as much as possible in the next few days. But we got it to where they can use it more. Cleared out this whole place. I mean, that, not only that, but we got trespassers coming through here too. So told them to put some cameras up they're riding their four-wheelers and dirt bikes through here but it looks fantastic they're gonna love it i'm actually this this area over here you can see that i left this thick the reason why there's barbed wire there's power line cables you know the anchors they use to anchor the power line poles up keep them from bending and leaning they're all up in here so i went over that and i drove over barbed wire and some fencing and ended up making a bit of a mess with the mulcher, I didn't even show that, but I had to get a little bit of barbed wire out. But through here, he just wants me to leave all the big trees, but I'm pushing all this privet over. We're gonna burn it. But you can see there's, I mean, there's your barbed wire right there. And that's barbed wire and pig wire all in one. You can just tell it was a metal pile out here. This isn't even the worst of it. The worst of it's down there in that bottom over there. And you can sort of see where we cleaned up that whole edge too. That was in video one. Anyways, guys, if you like the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already hadn't done so and uh leave a like and a comment down below i'd love to converse with you if you got any questions shoot them to me in the comments i'd love to talk to you tell you a little bit about what i do you know how i work these jobs and everything like that but uh you guys are appreciated we're almost at 2100 subscribers guys we're making a lot of progress in equipment as well as video quality i'm trying to get better at it guys give me some pointers down there in the comments as well if there's anything you think i can do better but like i said guys i appreciate you hope you have a great day i'll see you in the next video i'm lance Winnicus brush we're out